Hi, Phil Baylor from Pave Tool. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to us on YouTube, check us out on Instagram and Facebook, and sign up for our tip of the week at pavetool.com. When you first get your 200E, comes in a nice packaged box. What to expect inside the box, your set of handles, pad, Keep in mind, the unit comes with different size pads. You can order it with the small pad or the medium size pad. The larger pad, which has a capacity up to 440 pounds, is an additional pad that can be purchased with the unit. The power unit itself, with the on-off shut-off. And a bag of hardware. Installing the pad, I have four bolts that go through the pad and it uses a number four Allen wrench. Make sure you take your time installing these so we do not want to cross thread them. It'll be a little challenging when they're brand new. I like to get a couple of them started first. then I can fasten them down all the way. The unit is completely assembled on the bottom. And while I'm here, I'll just show you the pad. Pad is easily replaceable. It's just a press fit. And one thing when you're, when you're checking this unit out, or if you're having any issues on a job, make sure that you don't have any variation as far as height or being sucked in in one spot or you don't have any tears or rips in it. The bolts, two washers, nylon locking nut. This is gonna hold your handles on. Do this so you can see it. A little bit more awkward for me here. Try to get that lined up. Again, a washer. Nylon nut, that's your handle. Those you're gonna to wanna to tighten up. Quick latch pins, this is to adjust your height. Snap clip. This is the vacuum release lever. This is held on by, again, a number four hex, and this fastens to the handle. And I'll show you how to do that. One thing to be sure of, don't over tighten these hex bolts. You can crack this unit. It's tightened, it's at a comfortable location. I'm ready to continue. As you can see, the 200E is a very simple unit, simple to put together, ready for use. I do want to point out a few things. If you're having some troubles or issues, a few things that we've gotten feedback on, I just want to point out, which is very rare. This is a simple 110 plug. You don't need any real heavy power to run it or generator. It only draws 12.54 amps. So very low amperage you're gonna draw on this unit. Another thing we've had, just with the pad itself, inspect the pad. Make sure there's no rips or make sure this is not pushed up in tighter in one spot or another. Generally speaking, no issues with the pad itself. In speaking about the pad and suction, one thing we don't want to do is add water. If we have moisture on our pavers, excessive water, be careful. Water and electronics should never mix. 
very clearly stated, no more than 30 seconds suction down to a product. After the 30 seconds, you want to make sure you give it 15 seconds of relief. When you're suctioned down, it blocks off the airflow. This is an air-cooled motor. So you need that time to get fresh air into the unit so that it can breathe and not overheat the motor. It does have a built-in heat sensor, but that's not something you want to push the envelope on. Every time you overheat the motor, you are going to damage it. When you're operating the 200E, also never set it down on your bedding layer or where there's a lot of debris. This is a high flow vacuum. That's pulling a tremendous amount of airflow into there and you don't want to plug up or damage the screen in here. There is a screen that can get plugged. If you are having issues with not being able to suction down to a product, this would be the first area that I would look to. And just make sure that this is clean. You can use a little scraper, a vacuum, or a little brush, but just make sure that screen is always, always clean. One safety factor I'd like to point out. When you do plug the unit in, they do make fasteners that can clamp over the top so you're not going to pull the unit out. You can also weave it through here, your extension cord, and plug in. Remember, when you have a product up in the air and you disconnect your power, your product can fall. So that's one thing I do want to point out. Also, at your power source, whether it be at a generator or into the wall, there's ways also that you can lock your cord in. You could even drive a stake in the ground and tie your extension cord around the stake so that in case you forget or you're just not thinking straight, you pull that out. You don't want that happening. The vacuum release. There are some minor adjustments in here. We're going to want to make sure that the unit is, when you pull it, able to release off the product. But when the handle's down, you want to make sure also it's full suction to your product. And I'm just going to go and take the one side off and I'm going to show you how this works so you can get an idea of if there is a problem with this, what's happening inside here. This plunger, we want to make sure is adjusted properly, that it's dropping all the way down, that seals off your air, and when it's up, that's what does the releasing. Just make sure there's no debris in here or anything that can cause that seal to break, which will obviously decrease suction. The 200E packs a lot of punch for its size. It only weighs 41 pounds, so it makes it great ergonomically around a job site by hand. For some of those large scale jobs where you just don't want to physically maneuver this product, we also have the generator housing unit, which you see here. This is a simple unit, couple bolts, and that unit locks right onto here. Your generator slides in here with a strap holding it on. And you can check out many of our other videos that show this unit being used with the generator and the housing unit and how you do. You eliminate all those cords, hoses, whatnot, and you have an all-inclusive unit moved with an excavator or a loader for setting different products. Great option, great addition. I hope you enjoyed this video, so don't forget to like us at the bottom, subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Instagram, Facebook, and check us out at PaveTool.com. Sign up for our tip of the week there like that.